So, you are about to, for the very first time, run your very first game or your hundredth game or whatever. And something you've always had trouble with is writing your players into your story. I mean, you wrote the perfect story from front to back, beginning to end, but it's missing that your players have any actual input in the series and sequences of events, which is not a good thing. I've always said this, and I'll continue to say it again. If you want to write a story where everything goes right, everything goes perfect, and everything goes exactly as you wanted, do not play Dungeons & Dragons. Write a fucking book. But in case you don't want to go the write the book option and you want to be an actual good dungeon master, here are some tips on how to write your players into your story. Riser, double double I take how much damage? Step one, review everybody's backstories. You're going to be looking for certain things that I am about to give you in a moment. But the very first thing you want to do is review your players' backstories again and again and again. I like to have my players' backstories somewhere around a week before session zero. Generally speaking, I will have a rough outline of what the story is supposed to be, you know, the beginning, the middle, and the end, and then I will look at their backstories and decide where in each of these places I want to put certain events that will affect the players. While you're reviewing the backstory, what you're going to be doing is identifying goals and connections. You want to look for what the players are trying to accomplish with their character and who in the world they are connected to. This could be so many different things. A monastery where the cleric grew up, their mother and father back home, the teacher that they uh, learned all of their skills from, their tribe back in the forces of Mondor or what the fuck ever, right? You're going to be consistently and constantly looking for whatever connections you can find because these connections will help the players to make the story feel more real and more connected to them. You also want to identify goals because at some point in time, you are going to end up allowing your players to reach their goals. And I want to make this perfectly clear that this advice, everything I'm telling you, applies to both homebrew and pre-mods. Even if you are running a pre-module, a pre-done campaign, you are going to have to do some fucking creative writing and make it to where your players can hit their goals in certain areas of the pre-mod. This is very important. Very, very important. The only exception to this is number one, if you are an absolute fresh, out the box, brand new DM and the pre-mod is the very first campaign you're ever running, or number two, your players are playing characters that have already achieved their goals and now they're just using their characters to run through certain stories. You want to always be able to let your players achieve the goals for their characters, whether that be looking for someone or achieving riches or trying to escape their past or whatever the case may be, you want to add a certain confrontation for your players. The next thing you want to do is start dropping small hints to uh, all of their goals and connections. So for example, in my current campaign, I have a Warforged who is on a journey to discover his purpose in life and a secret that I won't reveal because the rest of the party doesn't need to know it and they watch these videos. I have a cleric who is trying to find the meaning in their life after they lost their father and prove their devotion to their god. And I have a sorcerer who is off to find the person who killed their parents. So for each of these characters, every once in a while, I will drop things like, hey, um, this thing is happening in this town or this thing is happening in this village. Um, you hear whispers of the name of the person who killed your parents. Uh, your God tells you to go this way. Certain things like that basically help with the players to feel like they have a connection in this world. You never want a player character to feel like it's just kind of wandering around, not doing Jack of Diddly Dick and just kind of following the motions. You always want the players to feel like their characters are motivated, like their characters are accomplishing their stories while accomplishing the bigger picture. This is one of the reasons why sandboxes are so hard to run. And again, I will do a full video on sandboxes, but basically having a bigger overarching story with the smaller connecting ones is how you make a campaign feel like a campaign. And for your players, 
one of the biggest things you want to do for them is make everything feel like it is their world. Which leads us to the final piece of advice, give everyone the spotlight. One of the big things that I've found is that a lot of DMs like to choose their favorite player backstories and only focus on those, tossing basically breadcrumbs to the rest of them. I took each of my players' characters and I decided what each of their final plot lines are going to be and how each of these characters are going to eventually achieve their goals. You want your players to feel like they accomplished their goals. You want your players to feel like their characters have finished their story. There is nothing worse, nothing worse in this world than putting hours and hours into a character, coming up with goals and connections and flaws and quirks and all of this stuff, and having that character's story just not reach its conclusion. The death of a character can be very hard to deal with, and I and I do have another video planned for that one, but what I think a lot of you a lot of people don't understand is that running a character who has a goal in mind and then okay let's let's take the let's take the person who's looking for the person who killed their parents if next session session five i just plopped the person in front of them and then they killed them in one combat encounter that would feel so unsatisfying to that character that would feel so bad to that character and I feel like for a lot of people, a lot of DMs, that's what they want to do so they could just get on with the story. And I, and I don't I don't fully agree with that. I think that it's, it's very important that you understand and you recognize that your players are people too. And they are looking to have fun. They are looking to experience their own stories. So make sure when you're running these kinds of things, when you're doing these kinds of things, that you provide your players with a significant amount of time to play out their story and eventually give each and every one of them the spotlight so that they can conclude their story in a way that feels satisfying and understanding. And that's all I have for you guys today. Let me know down below if these tips helped you out. And as always, a great big special thank you to everybody who watches these videos. It means the world to me. It helps me out a lot. I can't wait till the day that I can make this channel part of my income and do this full time as well. Uh, but I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next one.